Hello and welcome to programming. This is video number 31. In this video I'll show you how to get started with JavaFX um, using Eclipse and this time it's going to be on Windows 7. The first step would be to download the JDK. So you will need to go to oracle.com and go to download select Java for developers next um, you click on that button right there and then click on accept the license agreement now select the JDK appropriate version for your machine I'm um, using 32 bits, so it will be that one. So that one it is that I downloaded. I have already downloaded it, so I won't be clicking on that again. That is the JDK and the Java FX SDK. Now you're gonna need to download. Eclipse, so we'll go to Eclipse.org, click on that link, and then select Eclipse ID for Java de developers. Again, my version is Windows 32 bit. The Windows 32 bit and the link that I recommended to download form is from that site so click on that one should give me um, the option to save it so I'll go ahead and save it but then I have already done that so I'll just quit the Firefox and then open my downloaded folder which is that one I think it's inside document my document oh probably not it's uh, in your favorite so it's in download should be in C and users and your usernames and then go to download no um, uh, first we're going to be installing JDK so double click on that one click yes this JDK is bundled with Java FX SDK so one it's installed it oh, first you with the option to install Java SDK we can need to do both of them so we um, accepted the default so click next next and we're gonna need to wait for it to finish this might take a while so let's go back to um, the download folders we're going to be installing Eclipse now. So just extract this. Let's just extract it here. Again, we're doing to stop 
at the same time. It would take me two minutes to extract clips. Why that it's running? Um, okay. For the installation of JDK, after a while we'll be facing that dialog. Um, this is the. It asks if uh, where we want to install the Java runtime, so we'll accept the default one. We're gonna click next. then let it finish install I'm gonna be showing you a project setting up and writing example project for Java effects so this is going to be some code that I will need to show you let's write that inside a notepad shall we so let's put that in text document code now we gonna open that with a notepad and we're done installing We done extracting the clip, so next we're gonna be dragging that onto my desktop. Double click to go inside. I'm sorry. We're not done installing yet, so we're done with the JDK installation in the JRE. Not yet with Java FX SDK, so we're gonna need to click on next, next, and again wait for it to finish. In the meantime, we can try clips. So double click on that. The clip will start up. And we get to pick the workspace. Default it's in user home and then a subdirectory called workspace. We'll just accept the default for now. Just forget about what I said about the code. We're gonna be writing the code inside Eclipse. So go to Eclipse. Please bear with me because I never pause my recording. Hmm. We're done with Java effects now. Um, 
and I also have my draw a fixed project in the folder which is not be there please delete that you're not gonna see anything but uh, for me I just have to delete it to make it look exactly like yours um, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna be creating a new example project so right click on that new and Java project or you can go to file new Java project let's name it hello effects Now let's create a new package. Sorry, uh, right click on the source and then new package. Let's give it a name. Hello, that affix. Now start writing code by creating new class. Let's give it the name hello effects this is going to be extending application now the application is going to uh, be a class from JavaFX library but right now there's nothing in there with the JavaFX library so what we do is we can add .jar file into the project using the build part the build part yeah. add the external archive jar file but then I found a better, a better way to do it. Is you can create a new library for it and go to user library. Click next. And then click on use libraries. We're gonna. Hmm, we're going to be adding new library. Give it the name Java FX. Let's click on System Library. Let's click on OK. Now we're going to add Java file to the new library we just created. The Java file should be inside C program file. Oracle Java FX one time lip and click on that or we can use Java FX 2.1 SDK it's inside RT folder and inside LIB So click on that. Now we're going to need to attach Java Dark location for that. Sorry, click on Browse. Java Dark location, click on Browse, and then go to. C program file Oracle the SDK doc and API. Just click on the API. Okay, let me show you the whole picture. 
um, not so it's in program file Oracle Java FX 2.1 SDK APR adapt and in API click on that if you validate it it should say has been found and click on OK that should be fine Now the native library it should be inside JOE. So we shouldn't be touching this. So I just leave it for now. Click on OK, and then check that to use this library inside the project. Just click on Finish. Now we can fix this error. Right click on it. The suggestion comes up. We can import the. We can use the application from JavaFX or that one. I just select from JavaFX. Click enter, and then click on that again, and add an implemented method. Click on enter again. Now, here's what we need in order to get started uh, to um, show a window. We're going to need to create a new um, new group, call it root, and then the group should be uh, import from JavaFX. Now we're going to need to create a new scene from the root. Give it the width and the height. Four hundred by four hundred. Now the scene again should be from JavaFX. And then primary stage at set scene that and then primary stage I control and then space to get the uh, options and then show. Now, because there is no main method in here, that won't. Um, there's not going to be anything happen there. So we're going to need to create a new main method, which we will launch this application. We should be able to run this. Do not worry about the error right there. So that is the JavaFX um, application. If you're not impressed with these, please take a look at the uh, video on my channel. Uh, how much you can do with JavaFX library. And anyway, this is the video that show you how to get started with. Show our effects on window using Eclipse. Hope you like it and thank you for watching. Goodbye.